what's up coders another day and sharing another agent decoding platform that is free to use with you and this time it's coder a brand new agent decoding platform this is not fully free this agent decoding platform is free during preview which is running now and after this preview there might be some charges so it's a good time to try it out so what is coder uh, it claims to be an agentic coding platform for real software whatever that means well it looks like it's similar to a coding ide like windsor for cursor very good program through the chat and it has a few different ways of doing things i will talk about them later but first let's download this so setting up coder is straightforward just download installer for your operating system these are the ones you can download mac and windows for now so once it's downloaded open it up and let's install it okay that's installed let's launch the app okay there you have it let dot i don't have cursor i have vs code so let me see if i can import settings from there okay so it will try to install shell command so I have a shell command coder installed in my path. I would like to try it out to see if I can open it up here. So it says it has a command called coder. Okay, so basically it's like code. You can open this app using command line. That's fine. It's standard. Okay, I'll go with the dark and now we can sign in. And I'm successfully signed in. Here is Coder, and if you see, it has imported my Kilo Code extension as well, which is fine. I guess I can use both of them in the same interface. I don't need to switch back and forth, so that's great. For now, let me come here. So here we can either open a local folder or a Git repository directly from GitHub. And now we are ready to try this. So let me open a folder. Okay, so this is a task that I give to all the coding agents when I'm starting out with them just to get a feel for how well they perform. And this is a shooter app. I would like to see how this model performs or this agent performs on that. So I already like a few things about this interface, a nice generating animation, but I would have also liked to see the code while it's generating this shows me the entire file after it has generated so there is no streaming response here except for the text it wants me to accept this change it looks like it has done the entire task and it's ready for trying out so let me accept this file i can use my terminal to open it up we have terminal just like vs code and here i can just open shoot a game and here uh, shoot a game which looks pretty good it's not as good as the other models that i've tried recently but at least it did it in a one shot dash without any re-prompting so that's really good but what i notice is there's a bug in this it doesn't restart the game if i press i need to okay so play again doesn't work let's see if it can fix it can you fix it? so this is a very simple task to get an idea for how well it performs or how well it understands instructions so in this case it's tried to restart the game loop when the reset game is triggered seems right so we can try it out again in this case i want to die quickly so i can try this play again okay it does yeah that's right so it took two prompts to get it working with the play again which is okay the standard coding agent that is common in many other agent coding tools like copilot cursor windsurf all of them have these kind of chat functionality where you can create code in an agent mode but what separate coder is few different things and that's what we want to look at today so i do want to publish to github now so I can initialize a repository here is my git repo and here is the graph view for this which uh, i like which is not uncommon in most ides what's interesting is these two modes here which are called the quest mode and the repo wiki so let's look at the repo wiki first okay so it's limited to project which have source control and in this case because i have initialized a git repository here it's trying to analyze this project and what report wiki does is try to analyze your project and create a wiki documentation for your project that is useful both for developers like us and also for ai existence or ai agents like coder windsurf cursor so we are trying to create a common reference of what the project is and the architecture and all the details around that which could be looked at by both developers for onboarding and also for agents who keep track of what's the project they are in and what's the objectives of that project we just have to see how well it works if you look at the docs 
They mention RepoWiki and it automatically generates structured documentation for the project. So it keeps a track of all the uh, changes in our project and it tries to create the architecture and it also allows us to ask these questions in chat. I can quickly ask this question, how X is implemented or how Y is implemented and how are these used and it could quickly tell me what's happening based on the repo wiki that it has created for that project. Okay, it's still generating the wiki and it has uh, identified these as the topics that it should create which look aligned with what our simple project is talking about the game architecture the game entities visual mechanics controls code organization so it looks like it's on the right path and it will take some time to generate these uh, different sections and while it's doing that let's look at another new feature that uh, coder has it's called the quest mode this is where the coders agentic power truly really comes to life which is not uncommon to what other coding platforms or IDEs like Windsurf and Cursor offer. It's a high-level task manager. So you can provide a high-level task called a quest in natural language, something like. And here what we can choose is two different modes. One is to write the spec where it would go out and break down this quest into different detail specification and then it would execute through the plan by writing and editing code across multiple files. Or we could directly write the code if we don't need the spec. Quite similar to what other the coding IDs provide like Windsurf, Cursor, even Kilo Code, Line. So it's not uncommon to see this, but here it's advertised as a different mode. And uh, I'm curious to see how well it performs or what's different in this particular book. I can see here it's split into three different sections as design, action, and task report. So I'm guessing this is the architecture phase and this is the writing the code phase and then it comes up with a report in the end but this again is not uncommon i've seen this in different flavors across different ai agentic ids in this case it come up with a bit more detailed uh, report of what the project does and how it wants to design or the system design for this database and theme i just want to take a look at what databases it's using okay it uses index db that's good so no new installations and here is a more made diagram for what are tracked that is really good that it's created this specification okay now i understand what's different the specification is really detailed in a way that you could send it off to your developers and they would be really happy that you did because it explains exactly what different schemas or database tables look like for different database entities including flowcharts to show how they are connected so this is quite cool it also made a uh, testing strategies for these features so it's not just planning to execute the code writing part but also the testing part and if you see here it's running here as a separate task so hands-off approach to coding so you delegate a task the agent works in the background and only comes up when it needs your support so it's not just a coding assistant it's more like a teammate or a junior developer that you can assign some work to and it would go off and do that work and come back to you once it's done and i could also create multiple quests and those could run in parallel i wish to make it compatible with different screen sizes as you see it's not adaptive to different screen sizes it only works on the desktop i want it to also work on a smaller phone like screen so here again i would just uh, ask it to write the spec first and you can see it has spawned another task here so both these teammates if i can call them are working on individual tasks and me as a manager or a supervisor will be responsible for assigning tasks and reviewing their tasks. So this is how I imagine the future of agentic coding or coding will be for humans. We'll be responsible for thinking of ideas either from our stakeholders or ourselves and then putting those ideas down into actionable tasks using these quest mode and our job will be to concretely write these tasks in a way that's understandable for these AI teammates that we have. So setting them up for success with properly defined instructions, context and the background they might need to execute on this particular task. so here i can see that it has understood the responsive game layout task that i gave it and here again it's trying to create a component architecture by looking at different screen dimensions okay it has gone one step further to not just react to the screen sizes but also add different events or controls depending on the device it's on so keyboard events for desktop touch events for mobile and tablet and even a virtual joystick for mobile so this is quite impressive 
impressive that it has not just done what I had asked but gone one step beyond and thought about controls for these different uh, devices and also different layouts for different devices so this is impressive I will accept the design and I will allow this agent to continue working so you can see I can create multiple of these tasks in background what is really differentiating order this new agentic platform from others is these small tweaks where the agent really tries to write a spec before it applies it's similar to how developers write uh, rfcs like request for comments and they get it reviewed by multiple developers get feedback on their rfcs and then proceed to applying or implementing those rfcs into code so it's mostly similar to how we would do software development in the real world and probably that's why this team of coder claims that it's a platform for real software think deeper about the requirements by creating specs and hopefully it can allow it to build better there are quite a few new ideas that are implemented in this uh, agentic coding IDE first of all you have seen this task delegation to agents another thing they claim is this code base aware code ref retrieval this is another secret sauce behind coder so it analyzes the entire code base of the developer and not just reads it but understands it semantically and generates embeddings for different things so most retrieval systems for code that are built these days basically to look for similar code when you want to search for what has been done before is done using textual similarity so you would look at some code snippet let's say in our case this function here we try to look for similar functions that are present in our code base using exact text similarity but as you know in code it's every variable could be different but that doesn't mean the code is entirely different the meaning of the code or the semantic meaning is similar it's just the way it's written could be different and that's what coder claims it does that instead of looking at textual similarity it tries to go one step further and look at the structural relationships between different things using some graph based approaches so it creates a dynamic internal map of your project so it understands the relationship between functions classes files like having a senior engineer who has read every line of your code and remember exactly where everything is and how things are connected between each other so it has a very good project-wide perspective so this could be quite helpful so its uh, suggestions will not be just based on syntax they will be based on the project projects architecture design patterns and the other new claim is this long-term memory so it's usually harder for agents to remember what was done in the past so every time you open a kilo core session it starts a new task from scratch and then it builds that context within that task but if you finish the task and move to a new task it loses the context of what was done before and uh, coder claims that it has tried to tackle this by learning from what has been done before it has talked about why this matters because currently agents operate in isolation they work on a single task and then they forget what was done there is no personalization to what you like and your coding styles and your preferences so this long-term memory is supposed to all that the more you use it it's supposed to learn your personal preferences coding styles your habits your rules that you can define it's a part of the design of this coder agent and this long-term memory allows for a truly personalized experience efficiently improve over time making future tasks faster so it will learn from errors and troubleshooting that has been done in the past also documentation so this looks quite interesting as well so these are a few things that i found interesting in coder that separates it from other agentic ides so this continuous learning with long-term memory or self-evolution as they call it where the more you use it coder gets smarter by learning your preferences and your choices and your workflow habits so this is quite good so i can publish to github so it can stay updated with the latest code changes which is cool while it's working on these quests i can quickly look at these repo wiki that it is generating this is a very detailed wiki complete with architecture diagrams explanation of uh, different components as a developer i would be very happy to read a wiki that documents thing in this detail how the player is uh, player object is created how the shooter mechanics work for this bullet how the enemy spawning works how 
we check for collision so we know that if our bullets hit the enemy or if the enemies hit the player it also points to sections let's see if it can navigate to that okay perfect so it is mapped to those sections and you can directly get that overview it's very cool i mean if i don't use anything for generating code i would really like to use this for generating this wiki on all my projects and also generating this specification generation so far this quest is still stuck uh, although I do have a git repository it complains that I don't have one so I'm not sure what's going wrong here it's probably a bug but this project overview is definitely useful for any developer it's a bit verbose with a lot of details but I guess for a document it's good to have all the details in there and that was just the project overview okay how to run the game it also explains the logic so it uh, does different things based on key presses so it talks about different issues and how to troubleshoot them this is cool it also explains how you can modify change the gameplay for example to make it harder to play or to change the enemy speed spawn rate life or proper visual properties of uh, different objects on the screen so here are some extension points ideas that can be used to extend the game power up special weapons audio different enemy types yeah quite cool it's very detailed it's like explaining every single line of your code base how it impacts the actual application the documentation features of this particular agentic ide is uh, something i've never seen before in any of the other agentic ides whether it's the repo wiki or the specification creation so they really went with the optimal software development workflow that is used in real software engineering not during wipe coding where you kind of design these things and you need these details listed so other developers can read it and understand what is happening onboarding a new colleague or hand handing over this project to another colleague so these are things that happen in real life and these kind of documentations help in those situations where it's hard to remember after six months what you did in a project and why certain thing is implemented in a certain way and these decision records or architecture specifications or wikis help in those times to understand to look back what was done and and most importantly why it was done in a certain way they have not listed explicitly this uh, with a lot of detail except for in their documentation but i would consider this one of their most interesting feature offerings this repo wiki that's it for today i will let it continue to generate this document but i have gone through all the features that this new agentic coding platform has and in short other tools assist you coder empowers you to delegate your tasks to a new ai based teammate and also helps you be prepared for real world software scenarios so it's less of a co-pilot and more of a software engineer on your team so far i really like these features i set it apart from the other agentic coding ides yeah try it out let's write in the comments what works what doesn't work if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated with new tools coming out in the market i know there's a lot subscribing helps me and helps you stay updated with that have a good one